The first ornaments I'm going to be decorating are these mini ornaments that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I also found this plastic confetti that came in three colors for a dollar. And my silver garland as well, which I got at the Dollar Tree. I just rolled up a piece of paper into a funnel and I also have my hot glue gun here with me. So I'm first just going to use my blue confetti and we're just going to kind of pour this confetti into my mini ornament and we're just going to use the funnel to kind of help us out so the confetti doesn't get all over the place. So now that I have my ornament cap back in place, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my hot glue around the top of the cap. And then I'm just going to apply on my silver garland to the top just to add a nice finishing touch. And that's really it guys. We are basically done with this ornament and it was so quick and easy to make. This is how it came out. And now I'm just going to do the same exact thing just using my green and red confetti just so you guys can see how that looks. And again guys, this confetti was three for a dollar so this is super affordable to make. For our second ornament design, you will be needing a piece of floral foam as well as one of these skewers wooden sticks that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use a box because we are going to be using spray paint so it can get a little messy. And I picked up this glass looking paint from Michaels and I don't know exactly how it's going to work on the plastic ornament. but. Let's try it out and see. So I'm just spraying this glass effect spray paint all over my ornament and I'm turning it around a few times and I'm getting about three to five coats on here and you're going to notice that it is very liquidy and very runny. So this is why this wooden stick and our floral foam come in handy just so you can kind of hang your ornament and the sides won't get messed up. So just do this and coat your ornament a few times just until everything looks even. Okay, so it's the next day and my paint is completely dry. I am just reapplying my ornament top to my ornament. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this glittery silver ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just tie this ribbon into a bow and once you guys have your bow formed you are going to just hot glue your bow onto the top of your ornament. Okay, so for this next ornament, I'm going to be using uh, this iridescent glass set that I got from Michaels. So this actually was 50% off. I got it for $3.99 for four iridescent ornaments, and they're already so pretty just by themselves. Okay, guys, so for this project, and again, I will be listing all of the products I use in this video down below. 
For this one, I am going to use my Dollar Tree Snowflake stickers and my Dollar Tree Rhinestone stickers as well. So after I'm done sticking on the snowflakes that I want on my ornament, I'm just going to take these rhinestone stickers and when you peel them, it peels off in a string of rhinestones. So that worked out perfectly for this project. And I'm just going to take about one to two layers of the rhinestones and I'm just going to go ahead and stick them on to the top of my ornament. And this just adds a nice little blinged out glam effect. And again, guys, super easy, really quick project. And I didn't even need any paint for this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more snowflakes on my ornament because why not? And that's it for my snowflake ornament. So for this next one, we will need our floral foam again, our ornament, a container to mix your paint in, and I'm using three different paints, um, and I also have a black paint here as well. These are all acrylic paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, just put my ornament upside down on my wooden stick. So first I'm just going to mix this pouring solution in that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this is just a paint median that you can use to make your paint more liquidy. I'm putting in some white acrylic paint. And guys, you can use any colors you want. And also some silver metallic paint as well. And I decided to use this electric blue paint just to give it a pop of color. Now I'm just going to take my wooden stick and just mix together these colors and give it like a little swirling effect. You don't have to mix it vigorously, just kind of swirl it together in your cup. And then you're just going to gently pour your paint all over your ornament and just kind of keep rotating your ornament just to get an even layer of your paint. And if you guys are having trouble getting the paint all over your ornament, you can kind of do what I'm doing and just swirl it around with one of your wooden sticks. And just a tip for you guys, because my paint was a little bit thicker, try to get a paint that is thinner or try to just thin out your paint with one of the mixing solutions, as I mentioned before. And I'm just going to add some black acrylic paint that I do have. And this is a thicker paint, but for this part, that's okay. So I'm just using this black paint to kind of swirl it around very lightly and just add some color into my ornament and I'm just trying to create kind of like a marble effect so I just thought this black would kind of help with that but it's totally up to you guys like I said you can use any colors you want and you can use anywhere from two to four colors would look really good with this ornament. Okay guys, now that it's the next day and my paint is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and just put the ornament cap back on and I'm putting my rhinestone stickers across the top and this just adds a nice glam effect. So I have some glitter that kind of fell off here while I was crafting these ornaments and I decided to just kind of Whirl it around in this glitter just because the paint was still kind of tacky and it just stuck to the paint and it kind of added a nice little effect. For our next ornament, you are going to be needing any color paint of your choice and instead of putting the paint on the outside of the ornament like we did in our last, project we are going to just go ahead and 
pour the paint inside of the ornament once you take the cap off. So now I'm just swirling my paint around just so it's even all over my ornament. So now you want to leave your ornament out to dry overnight just to make sure that it dries evenly and that the paint is distributed all over your ornament. Now once the ornament is dry, we are going to go ahead and put our top back on. So once we have our top on and secure, we are going to take our silver garland that I love using so much because it just goes with everything and it's one dollar from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just cutting part of this garland off and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with our mini ornaments and just glue this garland right across the top of our ornament. So once that's done, we are just going to go ahead and grab our rhinestone stickers and peel off a line of these. And I'm just going to kind of place these stickers around going down from the top of our ornament to the bottom. And I'm just going to stick them all the way around and I'm sticking about five of these on my ornament. So for this next one, I'm going to be using this white glitter that I have, and it's kind of like a pearl glitter. It's really pretty. I'm going to be using Mod Podge, a paintbrush, and I'm also going to be using one of my snowflake stickers that was left over from my other ornament project. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge to the bottom half of my ornament. And I'm doing this using my paintbrush and I'm just going to brush it so it's not completely perfect or even, but just so it looks like a frosted effect at the bottom of the ornament. So then I'm just going to sprinkle my pearl glitter all over the bottom where I applied the Mod Podge. So last, I'm just going to go ahead and stick one of these snowflake stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree, like I mentioned before, and I'm going to just stick it right on top of where I put my Mod Podge and my glitter. And this one is all done after we have our sticker on, and Look at how nice that looks. Guys, I hope you had as much fun making these as I did. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye.